Let's continue by breaking down the management tools on the web dashboard. After logging in, you'll first be brought to the Airspace screen. The same tools available to the pilot in the mobile app are available here as well, such as Airspace, Weather, Missions, and Lance. Advisories can be toggled on and off as needed, and map layers can be set to your preference through the Layers button in the top right corner. To hone in on your desired flight area, we can simply zoom to that area and click. We can also take advantage of the search feature in the top right corner. Here, we can enter addresses, lat long coordinates, and even airport designations. Once you find your location, you'll be presented with nearby advisories and you can understand how far we are from those affect advisories based on the mileage readout on the advisory card. And you'll be presented with an overall status for that airspace. Green meaning good to go. There's no airspace restrictions in that area. Red meaning you're currently in a restricted or no fly zone for drones. Our weather details are pretty straightforward to understand, no deciphering METARs, and you get a direct weather report in the side panel as well, covering temperature, wind and gust, visibility, humidity, cloud cover with cloud base, as well as sunrise and sunset times below. Lastly, KP index is included for magnetic variation in our area. Um, always good to keep an eye on that to make sure it's not too high while we're flying. We'll dive more into missions and lance in another video, but progressing along the other side of the web dashboard through the navigation bar, we do have our streaming dashboard where we'll be able to view streams from pilots in the field as long as we have the permissions and their broadcasting. We have our manage page, which is going to contain a lot more subsections for admins and pilots to dive into their information. And last but not least, we do have our reporting, which is going to have some additional capabilities for us to understand the types of flights that we're flying, as well as keeping tabs on our Part 107 expiring, as well as our aircraft. In the very bottom left, you'll find a button for switching accounts, logging out, and high-level admin account settings.